the programming for this next section is probably our segue out of basic programming into real computer science. We're going to start looking into things like algorithms and um, processes for um, search and sort functions. All right, this program here is one of the first uh, algorithms taught in most computer science classes because the concept is really easy. It's something you've kind of already did. It's just a regular search algorithm, a linear search algorithm. Linear search algorithm, you either start at one end of the array and then just process all the way through to, uh, down. You, you start at the end and process all the way to the beginning, but more likely you start at the beginning and process all the way, process all the way down through to the end, searching for something in the array. The array can be an integer, the array can be anything, but you're searching for something in that array. Just like it sounds linear is you just straight through. There's no, there's nothing real tricky about it. First, I'm gonna go through the main here. Uh, just basic um, constant int size equals five. So we make an array of five. I made this test scores. Uh, this program loops through five test scores and searches for a 100. You can see where this is at. It's at the index of three or the fourth test. It's the fourth test or the index of three in an array. Okay, here's the function that we're gonna be using. I put the function above the uh, main again so it doesn't have a function prototype. So it's called linear search. I'm gonna send it test, test, which is the array. So the first thing in the linear search is the array. The second thing is the size, which we set to five. And then the thing we're searching for is we're going to go through our test and see if the program goes through and sees if we made 100. All right? If we did make a 100 on this test, um, it's going to return the index. So let's go ahead, we can already go ahead and kind of surmise what this is gonna return. This is gonna return a zero, one, two, three, because there's a 100, the fourth spot, or the third index, it's gonna, it's gonna return a three. Uh, this if results, if results equals negative one, we had initially set results up to equal negative one, which in this case is kind of a false. So if results equals negative one, you did not earn 100 points on any test. But if results has a number with it, which is going to be an index, it's going to uh, see out you earned 100 points on the test on test results plus one. So the results is the index. So it's going to be three. It'll be test four. Pretty simple stuff. Now, the way the function is written might not be, but let's talk about a few things in it. All right, we sent the array. Here's lin int linear search. The int is because it returns the index, right? Linear search, we're going to send it the array. We're going to send it the size, and we're going to send it the value that we're looking for. That's what we send the search. The program sets the index at zero, because that's where you're, where this one's going to start is at zero. It could have started at the other end, but it's just good program in this case to start at the beginning. Int position equals negative one. So this is almost like this is a position is it obviously the index cannot be at negative one. So this is just like a, a placeholder. Um, sort of like a negative. Now, the next line is something that we've uh, talked about before, um, but it's been a long time, so I'm gonna go over it again. It's a Boolean. Boolean, just, Boolean variables are true or false. So we make this Boolean found equals false. Only two values that could be, it could be true or false. Now let's talk about this line here, what it takes. While index is less than size, well, it's what we said right here, index is zero, and we sent it size. The size we sent it was um, five. 
So yeah, this part is going to be true. This is the and. So for this, for this while loop, this has to be true also. And think about this. Found is false, but this is not found. So negative, negative. So this side's true. This side's true. This side's true. Now it's going to process progress through progress through the array. So if int array index, so array zero equals value, and we're searching for the 100, right? If the first one is 100, then it's going to be found equals true, and it's going to be um, index equals position, and you know index zero is going to be set, to, and then it's going to kick out of this and return position zero because that's what this whole function does is just return. If it returns a number, that means it found it. And this return position is the index. So it's going to go through these and it's going to go all the way up to the fourth one or index three. It's going to find the 100, right? Then it's going to return the position, which is three. And let's go back down to the code. It's returning. So here's this, here's, here's the function here. It's going to, it found it. So it's going to return a three. If it didn't find it, it would return that negative one. So since this returned a positive number, all right? So if results equals negative one, which was it didn't find anything, you did not earn a hundred points on any test. Else you earned a hundred pet points on test index, which is results. So it's three plus one. You earned 100 points on test four. So let's run this. You earned 100 points on test four. So it's a lot of coding for something pretty visual, something pretty simple. But like I said, this could be 100,000, 200,000, a million. This integer can, I mean, this array could be 100. A uh, thousand, it could be a million elements long. So it's going to start at zero and it's going to keep searching until it finds it. Best case scenario, it finds it in the second spot, but worst case scenario, it finds it at the last spot. So it's just not a real efficient, it's not a fish, an efficient um, algorithm. It's fine for all the programs we write, but it's not good programming technique. Run the debugger. There you use 100. You can go in. I'm going to give you this code. I would suggest you play with a little bit. Maybe change the numbers. Add some to this. Then maybe search for a 98. Things like that. Just to see that, uh, see how this works. But like I said, this is our first one. We're going to go through another one today. And then on Thursday, I'm going to go through more and more search algorithms.